yourself down a little bit, do calligraphy. Oh, I remember. And as you know from, from last week, you each, you share, two people share a bottle of ink, two people share two pens, one large and one smaller, and then here are your papers, one large and one smaller, like this, okay? And the Shakespeare quote is from Romeo and Juliet. That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And um, so there's that. And then you also have this. I made a drawing of a piece of bamboo. So here's like a piece of bamboo that's, I mean, there are different kinds of bamboo. Here's, this bamboo is round all the way around. But what I like for bamboo, for pens, look at this. Here's, here's a piece of bamboo. See, it's round here on the top. But here it's flat. It's just perfect for a nib. So can you see how it has a cut like this? It goes all the way down and then another one that goes like that. And so this describes that. If you're left-handed, you want to cut it a little bit with a left-handed cant like that. And if it's right-handed, you want to cut it like that. Remember, just like these pens, there are some left-hand and right-handed ones, right? It's, it's sort of a subtle difference, really. But this is also a pen made out of a garden stake. And that way you don't have to go out and like cut a bamboo uh, down. But you know, do you know how bamboo grows? It's thick at the bottom and it's thin at the top. You have a whole family of pens there. Because you can get a really big wide pen from the bottom part and a really narrow one from the top. So uh, we're writing four pen widths tall. So one of these, I wrote that, this looks almost about the same. One, two, three, four, and then of course the 45 degree pen edge angle, and there you go. It runs out of ink very quickly because it doesn't have a reservoir like our other pens. And you'll need a bottle of ink, and you'll need a top like this that you cut a little, you see, cut a little diag X. Um, X like X, yeah, and you just X marks the spot. Bing, you put it over there, and you're never gonna have spilled ink which is very nice. Okay, the Latin word for feather is pena. Can you see how we got the word pen? Mm -hmm. From feather. And Shakespeare, who you wrote, you're writing, you wrote a quote of Shakespeare, he wrote all his plays and sonnets with a quill. Every word, every comma, every period with a quill, just like this. And you see what See, this is, when you see somebody writing like this, this is only Hollywood. They show all this stuff. But a real quill is with all this stuff taken off, maybe just a little bit like that. So um, that's a quill. Um, and, and I want you to just pick it up. See, it's light as a feather. Yes, yeah, because it is a feather. It's as light as a feather. Can you see how when you hold your regular pen, you want to hold it as lightly as that. Two to each one. Yes, two to each one. Good, wonderful. Do you like sitting on the ball? Can you see how you have two sheets of paper and one of them has large letters and one of them has small letters? So at your at your um, little set of ink and you have a little piece of uh, t-shirt that you can wipe either your hands on or your pen on. And then you have a small nib and a large nib. The pen has a little reservoir here. This is the reservoir right here. And so we only want, only put the pen in so the ink goes up this far. Not way up here, obviously, that would be a mess. So just so the ink goes up to the end of the reservoir. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in like this, and watch what I do. I'm going to drop the first drop back in. So drop the first drop back in. And if you want to, you can also just make a little dot on your um, piece of T-shirt there. And then you take it and you put it on here. And then you're going to write. And there you've got the edge pen with real ink. And as you know, what you can do is you can, if it runs out of ink, drop it down a little more.
are you supposed to have it like this or like this when you're writing? The, uh, the first way that you have it. ago. Yes. Three Baron to write and to inscribe something. Yes, exactly. So many. Photograph is really just on lights mixing. It is, isn't it? Light mixing with ink. Exactly. Wow. There's for the summer. Your H is great. I love that branching. That's beautiful. It just needs to come down a little bit more. You know, just a little bit more like that. <laughs> but you're getting it. Now, well, part of it was we didn't have a lot of time, so you didn't get a chance to trace over. Because this is like a rehearsal. And then this is like a performance. So it helps to do the rehearsal. Sometimes I make the rehearsal um, kind of very light. So then when you go over it, you can see a difference. This is William Shakespeare. Look, from... He lived from 1564 to 1616. Wow. Have you heard of his play, Romeo and Juliet? No. Well, that's something you'll get to later. But he was an amazing person. Remember how you hold your non-writing hand, holds the paper? There you go. And then the, oh, reservoir on top. Ooh, turn it around. <laughs> oh, there are lots of things to think about. Can you bring this a little closer to you? Is that comfortable? Okay, that's good, except not so much pressure. Just relax your hand. Okay, that's which we call a rose. Beautiful. Beautiful. Two stroke E, perhaps, with calligraphy? What do you think? One, two. Then rose, sometimes with kind of fancy. You can do one, two. Oh, rose. See? If you do a two stroke. Okay, let's uh, copy this under here. And let's use your non writing hand to hold the paper. That's good. Then you're kind of centered. Start right there, right close to it. 
Hey, we're getting even tighter spacing than the one I wrote up earlier. And then the T. And then what do we do for the appendage angle? Flatten a little bit here. Keep that nice thumb. It's coming. That thumb on here. Look at the word. Okay, now where do you do the um, end of the parentheses? Start here. Thick. Thin. Good. So William Shakespeare comes from what are the dates? 1564 Yeah, they weren't quite sure when he was born, but they did know when he died because he became very famous then. That. <laughs> How can we connect that with our learning? What else happened in the 1500s? Remember our timeline? Oh my gosh, you are. Black plague. What else was going on? Wow. It's like you're writing now. So next time I come, I will bring a quilt. When you put your pen down, wipe it with that little uh, bit of uh, t-shirt material. Wipe it with that. And your ink takes about 15 minutes to dry. Did you say you were going to do this summer? Uh, I'm going to write a letter to somebody each day.